Hi there. Today we will teach you about automation. The buzzword is smart e-mobility. It connects electrification to automation. And we will start with the mission question, are congestions a logic necessity? Is it really needed? And do we accept congestions? If we look to the Netherlands, every year there is 11 million kilometer minute of congestion. That means about 80,000 kilometer per year. And the cost of conge congestions are estimated on 3 billion per year. That's, you could imagine, 40,000 euros per kilometer per hour. And it's surprising that the Chinese startup NIO says very wise thing about automotive driving in this respect. And I believe they cannot say that from experience, but it's more a message to us. Uh, they are saying that automotive driving at the end will give us our time back. After that, the automotive product has given us the freedom to move. Very wise. Uh, and why is that? Because we are increasingly occupied with other tasks in our, our cars. And we want to use that time. And that's, that is true for both passenger cars and trucks. What about the acceptance of automotive driving? It's best accepted in the country Brazil. They would even send their child in an autonomous vehicle. Maybe that's the mistrust and unreliability of the Brazilian drivers, I don't know. But in car countries like the UK, Japan and Germany, acceptance is still low. And that's probably related to our history in cars and the emotions we have to them. We all think we can drive as good as Max Verstappen. Yes, for a few seconds. Only we are good drivers when we are concentrating. That's the point. And in normal daily driving, that's not the case anymore. And unfortunately, also car accidents are still there. 95% of the accidents uh, is, now is caused by the humans. It's not the technology that fails anymore, not the brakes that fail or a tire that runs flat. It's the inability of the human to drive faultless with, without the concentration. And the social cost of traffic accidents are high. It's estimated in the Netherlands 14 billion per year. That's about 2% of our gross domestic product. This is significantly higher than other social costs, like congestion, which is estimated at 3 billion, or environmental damage, which is estimated on 5 billion. Coming back to the main question, can we have mobility without accidents and congestions? Yes, if we do that step by step. We have a master plan for mobility without accidents. It's called the SAE level for autonomous driving. And the good news is that we are already on level four in some cases. To show you these cases, I picked two examples. The park shuttle in Rotterdam is running already 15 years and never had an accident. And in the same city there is the harbor where APM terminal has a very reliable electric AGV which is always on time. If the technology is there, we should introduce it. And Tesla already experienced that after introducing AutoSteer, the number of crashes dropped 40%. However, accidents made by an automatic, dri automatic driving vehicle or a robot is seen as more severe. And the problem is also a social problem that we are more forgiving for humans and their failures.
so better be safe than sorry. However, Volvo is now aiming at zero casualties in 2020. And that we wouldn't have expected 10 years ago. We are already in phase two of the technology adoption and uh, that already started. Uh, in, in two de decades, we could achieve the utopia of self-driving vehicles, if we want. And the effects on mobility are high. We will see mobility as a service. We, see, we will see insurance which is more technology focused and driver focused. And the supply chain and logistics will also change. Uh, the, the, the reward we get is about one hour per, per day more time. And a decrease of accidents of 90% and a better acceptance of robots in our society. Altogether, smart e-mobility is promising. Already we've created 4,500 jobs in the Netherlands and that's growing 20% per year. We have new companies in the Netherlands, Tesla Europe, VDL enabling transport solutions, New Motion, Fastnet, ABB infrastructure. Uh, uh, and on EU level, we calculate that it will probably give us 1 million additional jobs in the year 2030. Thank you very much. See you next time.